Uh, next, I wanted to uh, cover uh, possible explanations or the physics of whatever happened. And there, there really aren't too many choices. Uh, you know, the first, uh, the first choice is I was straining my logic uh, so hard that my brain mutated, which doesn't make a lot of sense. Uh, I, I, I just don't see how you can strain your logic and cause your uh, intellect to mutate. Uh, because carbon can only mutate uh, for self-preservation and self-defense. So there was a threat from somewhere. The secondary, uh, and I think more probable, although it's, it, it sounds impossible, uh, is that uh, I have a historic uh, uh, vitamin deficiency, you know, just from maladies or my pathology uh, throughout my life, and I, my diet is, is terrible, and I think my body initiated a frontal lobe stroke. And at that particular moment, uh, my frontal lobe and temporal lobes were locked and loaded. Uh, just because that's your, that's your logic. I mean, I was, I, I just, I had to figure, I, I had to solve the puzzle. And uh, so then what happened is, uh, let's say that there was a frontal lobe impulse, uh, but it couldn't penetrate the frontal lobe and you know the force of that collision which sounds impossible but I just don't see how you can strain your logic it, it seems more reasonable that that it was a catastrophic event and at that particular uh, moment in time at that precise moment in time I was straining my frontal lobe and therefore the stroke could not complete, but carbon still had to react, and it's my belief that carbon rotated my intellect or blueprint away from the impact of that collision. Which you know that 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 sounds reasonable because it would advance, but uh, it advanced my intellect. And most importantly, you know, in, in this equation, at the same time that carbon rotates your blueprint, uh, it, carbon, it, it automatically activates all the proper, the, the new gene sequences. You know, science doesn't understand. They, uh, uh, on Barrett's esophagus, uh, uh, according to science, somehow sloughs off stomach cells uh, you know, uh, grab a bunch of canoes and paddle upstream furiously and take over the esophagus all at the same time. They're dead stomach cells, so that's impossible. What happened in my case is my esophagus was looking at catastrophic collapse, and so carbon instantaneously inverts the cells and you go from esophagus cells to hybrid stomach cells. You know, it's a uniform flip. You know, so they, they, they would have need, needed a trillion canoes to take over the esophagus at the same time, those dead cells. So the stomach, throat, and esophagus share more commonality uh, then they don't, and so the, basically the cells turn inside out, and it has to be instantaneously, and more importantly, the it carbon, it activates the correct gene sequences. Because if I was self-perpetuating uh, uh, esophagus cells, and I had hybrid stomach cells, uh, it, it would create a bigger problem than what I had before. You know, they, they say in cystic fibrosis, they call it gene therapy, but the only element in, in a human's body that can rotate genetic structure or your blueprint is carbon. You know, carbon holds all those blueprints inside, 
and when it combines with phosphorus and I can't remember what else, it becomes DNA. But every nucleus of carbon already has that. It has the entire genetic blueprint of existence inside and it's in real time. I mean, that's a whole other story because look at our carbon world and there is, there is no way that carbon could maintain even our body if carbon was not a collective of one. Our entire environment is continuous. It's continuous carbon and, and the, it, the mastermind of this uh, could not run it the way it does if it was not a collective of one. Every cell of carbon knows everything about the body or the host that it inhabits and it knows the status of every other carbon cell in the world. Every single cell. You know, science doesn't realize when they say blueprint, it's not like a house where it's one. The blueprint that it holds inside on everything that has ever existed is from the zygote to death to immortality. You know, we don't, when you say one cell DNA holds the entire genetic uh, structure of existence, including viruses, we don't understand what that means. You know, I, I recently, in fact, I was going to jump genealogy uh, because, you know, I, I did the math and there was just no way that we could descend from a tribe in Africa. It's, it's just impossible. You know, the, the, we just couldn't have cross-fornicated with countries that hated each other. And it was just impossible. But I just, and, and I'm sorry, I, I meant to look up his name, uh, but I just recently read an article that clarified that that tribe is 350,000 years ago and is before, uh, is before modern man. You know, so, it, that, that was wonderful to have that clarified. So that was Homo Nicati, and apparently in our dimension, because again, I'm a genetic mutant. Carbon, carbon doesn't write the blueprints. Carbon, carbon has perfection inside, but has to build a baby with cystic fibrosis. And carbon would not do that if it had a choice. Carbon is a builder, but carbon doesn't write the blueprints. The only way that I could have mutated is if there are similar people in another dimension. Now, the genealogy traced it back to Sudan, which to me tells me that, that number one, the whatever man or Neanderthal was at that time, we obviously reached a point of erectness uh, that modeled modern man, so our species genetics begins in Sudan 350,000 years ago. I mean, we, we need to be precise on the years, so that's, that's just what I've read. So that's our species genetics, which is different than our uh, bloodline. So we're not all diluted blood from fornication. You know, we, we obviously in this dimension, whatever man exists, in, and if we, can, if we can pinpoint Sudan in the exact time, you know, we know more. But it appears to me that Sudan is some kind of portal because Homo Nikiti 
on this planet. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, I lost my thought, so uh, let me back up. Okay. <laughs>